Alonzo Ball. Skip, who is the best pro, pro, pro prospect in the tournament? Shannon Sharp. In my yep. bracket breakdown yesterday, I focused on three one and duns who will go, in my opinion, one, two, three in the draft. And that was Lonzo Ball and Jason Tatum and Josh Jackson. Lonzo Ball is going to revolutionize basketball in another way that's the opposite of what Steph Curry did because I think he's Jason Kidd who can score the basketball. He, he's obviously the best passer in college basketball, the best we've seen since Jason Kidd, and he has absurd range on his jump shot as well as extremely high basketball IQ, and he's extremely unselfish. And as Steve Alford said the other day to USA Today, he does play downhill, and as Steve said, I swear he can dribble while he's in the air. Nobody is faster in line to in line, and all I know is that he went into Rupp Arena against the, the Kentucky Wildcats and controlled the game and beat them. Not He had a lot of help from his friends because he gets his friends involved. Yes. It was 97 to 92 UCLA, which is why I picked UCLA to win it all. So I'm going to go him just above two kids who are becoming men right before your very eyes in Jason Tatum at Duke and Josh Jackson at Kansas. Skip, I'm going with uh, a guy that you said that t- his team went in the uh, Rupp Arena and beat. I like Malik Monk. I saw him go get 47 against UNC in Chapel mm-hmm. Hill. That's the second most points ever been scored uh, against Carolina. And it was a freshman record. Now, he's on, there are only two freshmen to average 20 points a game this year, Malik Monk and Markel Fultz from the University of Washington. Now, a lot of people f- feel that Fultz would be the first pick in the draft. And if you were to m- Monk, if you were to average the 20.4 he's averaging, it would be the greatest scoring freshman season in, in Kentucky history. Mm-hmm. Now, we know what Kentucky basketball is. Not Boogie Cousins, not Anthony Davis, not Bledsoe, not Ulis, not n- n- any of these guys. Skip. John Wall. John Wall. Yep. Average this this many points in the game, so it it would be uh, very very special, and he can get buckets. We've seen him go off and get thirty and a half. So with that being said, I, I like him. Now I like. Did you take-, take him first overall? That's what we're talking about. <sighs> Ooh, six three. That's the problem. He is six feet, three inches tall. Lonzo Ball is six feet, six inches yeah. tall already. And he is looking at his father's yeah. six, seven. Maybe he gets another inch. And Skip, the thing with me with, uh, with Duke players, I mean, I, I've seen guys that have better careers at Duke than what Tatum is having. And when they get to the NFL for whatever, I mean, the NBA, NFL, the NBA yeah. for whatever reason, Skip, Except it doesn't Ky- translate. Kyrie, Kyrie didn't, Ky- he didn't last very long, but he. And you yeah. know what? When it's all said and done, Kyrie Irving, might be the best player to ever come out of Duke. And you, Christian Leitner had a story career. Bobby Hurley. Now, Grant Hill got hurt. He did. So we don't know what his career could have been. It was still pretty good. Yeah, he had seven all-star games. Yeah, and, you know, he, he was co-rookie of the year with Jason Kidd. You know, Allah Abdenabi and mm-hmm. Cherokee Parks mm-hmm. and, and J.J. Redick and all these guys. Well, El- Redick's been pretty good. Yeah, but, Skip, yeah. not like no. he was in college. No. And uh, Elton Brand had a decent career. He was rookie of the year. Play had, had some, you know, 2010 seasons. But so that's the reason I kind of shy away from the Duke players. But I think Tatum, but I love Monk. I love a guy that can go get buckets. I, I do too, punch. but I love him like every other night because nobody can get hotter or colder than Malik Monk. Yes, yes. Because he can go for 47 and then he goes for two. It's what and, it is. And I, I just don't know at 6'3, does he translate consistently right. to the next level? Did you say I'm going to take him number one overall? No, no. I wouldn't. Skip, here's the thing he's one of these guys that can shoot you in or out of a game on any given night. Now, he, you behind, and he gets hot, he can get you in the ball game in a, in a hurry with those threes. But then, like you said, some nights you're like, dude, wh- where is the guy that scored 47? Where is the guy that got 30 points and a half? Mm-hmm. And he doesn't show up. But at 6'3", I mean, he's angular. You like that, but you just saying, okay, who is he going to have, you know, who is he going to guard? You know, most 6'2s, they're, they're 6'5", you know, 6'6". Six, six. So he's going to have to be able to get, bu- you know, get bounce, uh, uh, buckets off the dribble. I believe you can do that, Skip. I, I, I like the, I like this kid. And it's for some reason, Skip, these guys play better once they leave Coach Cal because, as he, as you mentioned earlier, he's juggling egos. You got a lot of top five recruits, five star recruits, and you're like, you're not gonna get 25 shots tonight. You might only get 10. Mm-hmm. And because you look, Skip, I like Boogie and I like John Wall. Skip, I didn't see him being this good in the NBA. Mm-hmm. John Wall is basically it's a 20 and 10 guy. Skip, I didn't see this. I like Bo- Cousins more than I liked Wall Bo- coming Boogie out. Is, Boogie is 28 and 11. I didn't see this. You listen, and, and the, uh, a Booker. You're like, where did this come from? 
Mm. It was almost like Michael Jordan. No one, like, the only man that could guard Michael, to stop mm. Michael, was Coach Smith. So what do you not like about Lonzo Ball? There's anything I don't like about I, Well, I hope, he, I hope the Lakers get the first pick. So his dad, his dad said he's going to speak it into existence. He wanted his son to be here in L.A. There's really nothing not, uh, not to like about this kid. I didn't see Fultz play. Uh, and, and the fact of the matter, he's not in the NCAA tournament. I, I was preparing to see him to play, and all of a sudden he got hurt, and then yes. they just fell off the map. It was like Ben Simmons. You're the number one overall pick, mm-hmm. but you can't help get your team to the tournament. Hmm. So. Real quickly, who do you have winning it all? I know Skip has UCLA. I have Duke. Go Carolina. Go <laughs> Carolina.